Clark, author of 2001 A Space Odyssey and countless sci-fi novels. So Arthur C. Clark saw what was already known. Clearly there's an orbit out there mm -hmm. where it would take you as long to go around Earth as Earth takes to rotate. His brilliance was to realize that that might be where you put a satellite for communications. He correctly reasoned that if you're gonna send radio communication between one continent and another, mm -hmm. let's say just United States and Europe, you might wanna park a satellite in the middle of the Atlantic. Right. So that we send a satellite signal up, up and then, and then it, it comes sends back, it down. back down. And that, because otherwise the radio signals only go in straight lines and they would not reach Europe because Earth is round. What a terrible inconvenience <laughs> that is. Some of the earliest satellites launched were communication satellites. Right. One of the more famous ones was called Telstar. 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 There was even a car model. Okay. Just, 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 just I, stay in the mood. Yeah, people were just like, oh, I'm driving a Telstar. I know. It was very... Yeah. My car came from space. I know. The, yeah. the space connection yeah. was very strong and culturally real. What happened to us? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened to us? 